Okay, so we're using an area model to find the two binomials that multiplied and the polynomial below. Uh, I'm going to rewrite it so we can definitely see it. Notice we get x to the 6th minus 8x to the 3rd plus 15. So even though we have the 6th power right here, the area model helps us deal with this pretty quickly. So what I'm going to set up is my area model. It's a rectangle, and that represents the area that is this trinomial. If I put x to the 6th here and 15 here, watch what happens. So x to the 3rd times x to the 3rd is x to the 6th trying to find factors that multiply to these areas. 15 is 5 times 3, but I'm going to use negative 3 and negative 5, and here's why. Negative 3 times x to the third is negative 3x to the third, and negative 5 times x to the third is negative 5x to the third. Why is that important? Well, look at this, right? If we add these pieces back together, x to the sixth is x to the sixth. If we add negative 3x to the third and negative 5x to the third, we get negative 8x to the third, right? Which is this term right in here, which we need. We need that negative 8x. This is why I chose negative 3 and negative 5. But wait a minute, don't we need positive 15? Don't worry, we've got it, right? Two negatives multiply to a positive value, so that's plus 15. Anyway, the answer we're looking for actually is the factors or binomials here and here that multiply to this region. So we have x to the third minus 3 times x to the third minus 5. And that's it. Thanks.